Hello everybody, and you know what I'm going to say. We're going to talk about Gary Lineacre. Do you, who was that? There was a, a report. Was it Mick Shannon? You remember Mick Shannon? He come down here to Southampton. He couldn't say Lineker. I, I think he's quite good. Gary Line, Lin, 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 the bloke that eats the crisps. Yeah. I, he's, I thought he was a rotten football player, Gary Lineker. The only thing I thought he was any good at was looking identical to the FA Cup with the big handles like that. He did have a face that only a mother could love. And I never really liked him. I always thought he was a bit of a goal hanger. And when the girl said he's got nice legs, and I look at my legs, they look like a negative of one of Gandhi's split in half. I'm very jealous. And as many crisps as I bet, they've not got uh, any bigger. But the good thing about having tiny legs, it makes you... Anyway, let's move on. Now, everyone's having a bit of a moan about Gary Lee, line, 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 old jug ears, because he dared to say what he thought. And he thought that sending the... Um, the asylum seekers off to Rwanda or locking them up or basically not letting them in was comparing us to 1930s Germany. And as you know, in 1930s uh, uh, Germany, uh, the, Hitler and his little mob uh, decided that they had a vision of the world and anyone that didn't share that vision would be put to death. It sounds like the Wokarati, doesn't it? Now, I'm not going to stand here and slag off Gary Lineacre because, quite frankly, I don't watch Match of the Day. When they have all them pundits on there, they don't have football commentators anymore. They have box tickers, don't they? they one, you know who's going to be on there one day? You bet your life, especially you GB news players. They say, and now we're going to go over to Highbury. Hello, if you want to go to Highbury and you want to give some gold in, gold reserve jewellers, it's one nil here. Oh, you're been marvellous, isn't it? The Welsh are taking over. Anyway, Mr. Lineacre, you are very welcome to say what you want. But here's the thing. People are taking offence about what he said. Well, don't listen. Don't listen to him. Let him have his opinion. If you disagree with it, fine, move on. How, how can you support Jeremy Clarkson's right to free speech uh, when he had a go at Ma, Ma, Megan, uh, that woman? And, uh, and but, but, you know, Everyone should be able to say what they want. And if you're offended, don't listen to that person again. As for the BBC being impartial, <laughs> hey, yeah, right. Let's move on to the big story of the day. Is that woman, Ngoz, uh, Marlene, her real name is. And just when the palace thought it was safe to breathe again and deal with the, the other problem of the coronation, etc., etc., uh, this woman, do you remember when Lady Hussey said to her, where are you from, where are you really, really from? Oh, where are you from, where are you really, really from? And she took offence. Well, I thought that was all sorted. That They sat down together and an apology was given. But it's not enough for, and, 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 uh, for Marlene. No, she wants the king to pop round and say, look, I'm very sorry about all this. It's ridiculous. This woman who dresses like a bowl of fruit uh, and... and she ran this thing, Sister Space or something. So what happened to that charity? She's now had to step down as a chief executive. Why? Of course, she will blame the palace because she's under so much aggravation and, and threats and awfulness made against her because people don't like her. And this is the whole thing about racism. Yes, it's awful and you should not be racist. You're not set out to upset people, but you don't have to like someone. You can choose not to like someone because of their behaviour. I choose not to like uh, Gary Liner. Line, Line, Line. I choose to like Clarkson. I agree they both have the right to say things, but I choose not to like Marlene. I don't like her. I think she's a troublemaker, and I think she's not very happy with herself. She's obviously not. I, the way she dresses up, all these funny... Anyway, Marlene. Leave the royal family alone. Get on with life. Go back to your charity. Start some work. And perhaps you can let some white people in or mixed race. Alter the parameters a bit and, uh, and maybe you'll do a, a little better. Anyway, here we go. And of course, here's the thing about Gary Lionacre. We're finished with him. One of my favourite presenters is Nana. Aqua, Aqua, Na here she is. She's fantastic, isn't she? And uh, she's on GB News and we're mates. And she had a little, some people had a go at her by, she mentioned something about Lineacre. And she mentioned the fact that, that people coming across the channel in small boats should be prevented. And we've got to take control of our borders in this country. Oh, the left has come out and had a go at her. All these do-goody liberal people having a go at this uh, young, black, brilliant uh, presenter. And so, Nana, we're on your side, love. Uh, don't you worry about that. Liberals are funny, aren't they? The other evening, I had a liberal lady speaking to me, and I knew she was very liberal and lefty, and she was very, very nice. 
and we had a couple of black people join us, a couple, marvellous, from the, from the Midlands, sat down and had a drink. This was late at the hotel, a few fans and that come back and we're knocking back the cheap rosé. Uh, and uh, later, as we were talking, I threw in the N-word. She went, oh, you can't say that. I said, but here we go. I would not say that uh, to a black person. I would never, ever use that type of language in front to someone that would cause offence. She said, well, it offends me. I said, but you're, you're not black, you're white. I said, the reason it offends you is because you're liberal. You want to defend people of which there is no chance of them being offended because I would never use that word. People don't set out to use that word in an offensive way. They set out to offend the lefties. It's quite good fun, isn't it? So offence caused by Munchausen. Is that right? Ridiculous, isn't it? You can't say certain words. I'm going to do a whole routine of this P walked into a bar and called me a C. I F in C, you P, and in come an N, and punched the P in the C and kicked him in the B. <laughs> Where's it going to end? Okay, folks, uh, sign up to Ustream if you can. Well, how about not signing up? Just become a member. You'll love it. Described as a masterclass in stand-up comedy, watch the inimitable Jim Davison at his very best. <laughs> in Uncovered and Uncensored. And you're now approaching Great Yarmouth. Please put your watches back 200 years. Only on Ustream from 10th of March.